This is Guitar Business Radio. Now, we've been hit pretty hard. We don't know what all the damage is yet, and we're not out of the woods. But one thing seems to be getting clearer by the day. It's time to hit the road. I'm Jeffrey D. Brown. So once again, let's get to it as we cover the road back to the business of guitar. Okay, we're back. Finally. It's been a little bit longer than I thought it would be when I signed off on episode 77 way back in August of last year. That's what, nine, ten months ago? Seems like a long time. And really just yesterday at the same time. So truthfully, I thought we would only be out for a few weeks, a brief hiatus maybe to rethink and retool a little bit. And well, that actually happened. We essentially retagged the show to focus primarily on the success stories in the business and uh, try to offer our listeners more practical information and some inspiration that you know they could use themselves this was a departure from the more traditional biographical interviews that were really the mainstay of the show and even though they were more focused on the business side of things in many ways they ended up being really just similar to what many other podcasters were doing and That ended up really being part of the undoing. But we were scheduled to start a new season around Labor Day, but that was delayed and then delayed again and again and so forth. Now, I might add that part of the delays were based on just a pure shortage of time. Time. There was plenty of toilet paper in those days, but it's a shortage of time. There was also a lack of something else enthusiasm. And to be perfectly honest with you, I ultimately just didn't see a reason to keep doing the show, even with the slightly changed format. Without that underlying purpose sort of lighting a fire, well, GBR just sat on the shelf. Now, I can say with some uh, gratitude that I did receive comments and communications along the way asking, you know, what happened and when might we be coming back on, etc., And even at uh, Winter NAMM show this year, uh, surprisingly, a number of folks recognized me uh, through my name tag, I'm sure, Uh, and, uh, you know, asked me about it and and had some nice things to say. Uh, So I really appreciated that. And frankly, I started thinking about it again. You know, maybe maybe this was the time. But then something out of the ordinary happened, something completely unexpected. And bam, bam not the magazine. Bam. Of course, at first, we weren't really sure whether this virus thing was going to be all that impactful. The numbers seemed, you know, kind of small. Maybe we were cautiously optimistic that this would pass quickly and we could continue on with what promised to be a really entertaining election year. But no, that's not what happened. Instead, we got this. Pandemic, lockdowns, 30 million plus unemployed, economy in shambles, politicians crazed with power, rebellion in the streets, people yelling at each other like never before, really yelling, tempers flaring. Everybody looks like a bank robber, except for the outlaws. They're the ones not wearing masks. Think about it. And on top of all that, there's all the sickness and death. Lots of death. Sorry to have to put it that way. It's terrible. It's horrible. And we're all going to blame somebody for that, you know. Of course, there is some good news on the horizon. It's still an election year. And at least we can look forward to that. So why are we here? And now, why did we show up again at this particular point in our real-time history? Is it a calling, an opportunity, or just an idea? Or maybe all those things combined with some underlying truths that, unfortunately, will have to be redacted. Well, (laughs) these are extraordinary times, to say the least. You could describe them as challenging, difficult, unprecedented, maybe even scary to some, or many. I think a lot of people are scared. There's an abundance of fear out there. 
And that fear can manifest into a whole lot of things that aren't very healthy, like anger, retribution, substance abuse, depression, suicide, heart attack, stroke, and a, and a million other things, as well as the big one, bad decision making. Some of you know I've talked a lot about building strong principle-based foundations upon which we can base our decision-making in business as well as our personal life. But we've recently been told over and over that we're in uncharted waters and that we're really not able to make a lot of decisions for ourselves right now. And I'm afraid a lot of folks have kind of abdicated that responsibility to one degree or another. You know, Something I learned many years ago, the hard way, I might add, is that more often than not, when you allow others to make decisions on your behalf, the decisions they make are usually in their best interest. It just kind of works that way. We should be thinking about that. Now, my reason for restarting GBR is simply to offer an independent voice in these times where so many of us and so many we know have had our lives and our livelihoods upended, suspended, limited, and really messed with by things we seem to have little or no control over. So what do we do now? And what do we do in the future? There's a lot of unknowns, a lot of uncertainty. But not to be too cliche, the one thing that is certain is that the future won't look like the past. It rarely does, if ever. And big changes are no doubt coming. The question is, Will those changes be consistent with your principle-based foundations or somebody else's? That's an important decision we all have to make. In the coming weeks and months, probably, we're going to talk about all these things and more. And you won't just be hearing from me. We'll be bringing plenty of folks onto the show to share their experiences, their thoughts, and their ideas about where we go from here. And I'm sure we'll hear some of the good, the bad, and the ugly along the way. Now, I've never encouraged overt partisan politics on GBR. I'm not going to start now. But there are plenty of relevant issues to talk about that we may or may not agree on. But that will add value to this conversation. And you may also remember that this show has always been about value. Because creating value is the cornerstone of successful business in so many ways. Wouldn't you agree? So, I thought I might just take a few moments to mention some of the topics I think we may be looking at in future episodes of GBR. And there's some obvious ones, like a lot of businesses are expected to continue on in some fashion. I'm afraid, however, that many will not. We're already seeing that, and I expect those casualties will continue to mount. What happens to those people? What are the possibilities? And there are a lot of those one- and two-person businesses in the guitar world who have not necessarily been affected by the lockdowns. What have they done to stay afloat until better times arrive? It might be helpful to others for us to know that. For those businesses, which are obviously many that have been adversely affected by the mandated closures, what strategies have been deployed to maintain market presence and visibility until more normal operations can resume? And where limited reopenings have begun, what operational changes are being implemented to meet government-imposed restrictions? And how will that affect business going forward? And what about players? They're in the business as much as anyone else. What are their prospects? And what does the so-called new normal look like for them? Maybe we'll find out. So bottom line is, there's a lot to talk about, and we'll just have to see how it unfolds. To some degree, that's going to be up to you. We've always depended in large part on what our listeners are interested in and what folks in the business want to talk about. So obviously, as always, we look forward to hearing from you. And you can do that through multiple channels on our website at guitarbusinessradio.com or by email, contact at guitarbusinessradio.com. Or you can still call our GBR hotline at 888-777-2404. Operators have been standing by for a long time, and they're anxious to hear from you. Now, before we sign off, I want to leave you with a few quick thoughts, much like I've always done in the back of the show. Um, 
The advice I've been giving companies over the last few months has been consistent with the principles and ideas I've been talking about on GBR since the very beginning, nearly two and a half years ago. A lot of it revolves around how we see the world, and more importantly, how we see ourselves. And that applies to our business activities as well. You know the old adage, thoughts turn into things. One of my all-time favorites from the late Wayne Dyer, and you might have heard this, When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. It's a well-known quote. In fact, I created an art poster that includes that and hangs in the entryway of our home. It's a constant reminder. Now, from the early days of the pandemic, I've told folks in the business that they need to maintain the clarity of their vision, even if it changes. Understand the value of what you're doing and make sure that one way or another, You do everything you can to make sure that your value message continues to permeate in the market you serve. And clearly, there are ways to do that at little or no cost, but you have to do it. And if you're not sure what that message is, get some help. But I can't stress enough, once again, the importance of seeing your future in a positive way, whatever it is, as though it's already happening. This is not a revolutionary idea. But I can assure you that knowing where you're going, even in the most general way, has an amazing effect on helping the pieces of the puzzle become visible. On the other hand, if you're living in fear, anger, despair, or any one or more of those clouds, your visibility will be severely impaired. And that's why it's so important to stay positive, stay focused on your destination, But always, always keep all your options open on how you're going to get there. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time on Episode 79 of Guitar Business Radio.